Hi everyone, I'm Nadia Whittam. I'm 24 years old. I was elected in December at the age of 23 and I'm the Labour Member of Parliament for Nottingham East and also the youngest MP in the country. Nadia Whittam, um, at 24, you're the youngest MP in the House of Commons, more than half of age of the average age of an MP. When lockdown started, you went straight back to your old job at care work, you donate half your salary to local charities. Where does this drive for change come from? And can you pinpoint when you first kind of woke up as an activist, per se, um, maybe at some point in your childhood? For me, politics has really never been about a career or a career option. It's, it's been about what I've seen going on around me, where I've grown up. I was brought up as the daughter of two working class immigrants and politics was always about everyday life for me. So about the poverty and inequality that I saw around me, my neighbours and friends and family struggling to make ends meet. Um, that daily normality of institutionalised racism where I saw people, young people, without any real life opportunities and then being driven into crime. Um, when I saw people at my, at my school struggling to get an appointment for, um, for their mental health with CAMS. It was a, a sort of build-up of all of that. About 24 hours before the 2019 election was called, right, it was when you were selected as the candidate for Nottingham East. Is that, is that right? That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. How did you get to that point then where you were kind of selected as the candidate? What was your journey up to that moment? I had a huge team of people supporting me from right across the party, people from lots of grassroots organisations. It was it was just an incredible it was an incredible campaign that I think really reimagined what politics looked like and what leadership looked like. And be use my platform and my my learning that I've that I've gathered here in Westminster to share with my community and to, to amplify my community. I'm thinking now as well about the kind of people that you represent since you won that night. Um, and I don't just mean the constituents in Nottingham, um, I mean like young people up and down the country who were able to look at a 24 year old in Parliament who uh, maybe doesn't talk or look like the kind of politicians they might be used to seeing on the news. Um, and a lot of people I would say think that that's really important. Um, from your perspective, if you could talk to that cohort of people and urge them to get involved in their local communities or offer any advice, um, what would you say to them? I'd say that we're living in a terrifying world and no one knows that better than our generation, than working class people, people of colour, disabled people, LGBTQ people, people who, women, people who've been marginalised for decades, but now more so than ever. And there's never been a more important time for us to fight back. And I genuinely believe that it's going to be our generation, Generation Z and millennials too, that are going to be leading that fight back. And really, we don't have a choice. It's not me who's going to bring about this change. It's all of us. It really is all of us. Because that's the only way that change has ever happened in the past. Whether you look at the civil rights movement, at the, the women's and feminist movements, at Stonewall, um, workers getting weekends, all of that, the miners' strike, the Grunwick strike, every single thing in history that was won was won by people coming together and demanding change, taking to the streets and doing it loudly and sometimes in a way that has been unpalatable to the establishment and people in power, but we never get anything just by asking nicely. And it's never a person or a party that delivers that change. It's a movement that forces it to happen. But we have to have hope because the survival of the planet and people and like people living good, decent lives really depends on all of us coming up with an alternative and forcing that alternative to happen.